Back in the 1980s, I really started getting involved in the Volkswagen scene. And the very first vehicle that I built that ended up on the pages of a magazine was this 1962 Volkswagen Crew Cab. Now, I was so blown away seeing this thing on the pages of a magazine. I really thought I had made it. Um, you know, that was high praise to me for somebody that was cranking something out in my driveway. Uh, you know, it was a total home-built job. Uh, and I look at the quality of it compared to cars now, and, and it wasn't that great. But obviously, people loved it, uh, and it made it there on the pages of VW Trends. I did a lot of fun stuff with it, hand-built that canopy out of EMT conduit and strips of wood. Uh, my brother stitched up the canvas with a commercial sewing machine my mom had in the house. Uh, I had little semaphores that were mounted on the outside of the posts and a Swiss license plate, had light eyebrows, and of course safari windows. It was a blast. This was my daily driver back in the 80s. I would drive it every day, and then I would polish it up for the shows, put mirrors underneath it, and set up a big display. And this was the one that really kind of hooked me in. You know, seeing your work celebrated on the pages of a magazine was a neat goal. And so throughout my life, I've tried to do as many as possible, and, uh, and I've accomplished quite a few. So I'll go through several of these uh, over the next few months or so. Um, but I wanted to start out with the very first, the Bad Blue Bus. Uh, license plate on it, uh, and a personalized plate that said Der Crew. Anyway, if somebody ever sees that truck anywhere somewhere, I want to know where it is, because I would love to have that one back. Bye-bye.